has it in a a gluttonous, like sick, disgusting way. He was just eating it, like just nonchalantly. I didn't even get to I didn't get to have a second a second bite. Um which I thought it was it was funny and cute. I wasn't really hungry, so it didn't really bother me. And then he ended up he ended up ordering a, a bowl of pasta with like I think it was I think it was shrimp but like I don't know what dish it was after that and this was coming from a guy who said he was not really hungry either and that he just kind of wanted a drink so I remember like I just remember that happening and, and then silently chuckling to myself and thinking about like how on the nose this story was about like liking good food and just like it's not about eating as much as it is as it is about consuming things that they really enjoy and they really enjoyed all that um but aside from that he was a very sweet person and um i think we were just better off as friends um yeah when it came to uh more adult stuff he was definitely very uh, willing to give and receive in a, a, in a intimate way. Like they're not like Aries uh, who are just kind of like they're more giving and, and more about sensuality than sexuality, if that makes any sense. Uh, so yeah, that was my experience, one of my uh, romantic experiences with the Taurus. Let's jump to Gemini. The one that comes to mind. Right on top of my head was this girl I met. And let me tell you. She. I almost burped. I'll tell you. She, she was so spontaneous. Just like an Aries is. Except that there was no like goal at the end. Like there was no. And like Aries are spontaneous. And have a direct finish line almost unless they get bored she wasn't she was very spontaneous it's on the go but very free-flowing like you could start a race and end up you know fishing or something like that that was like just like the personality that uh, she had and uh, what did we do what did we i think it was this this was a little while back i think we were at a lake lake uh, but it wasn't like a huge lake it was just like a park with a big lake and we were just hanging out and I remember her just being so crazy like literally but in the best way I love crazy people there, were like, there was like a playground and she was like all over the place swinging and just like doing like monkey bars and, and all that stuff and I was like I was doing it too like I'm not, I'm not lazy or just like a push over or anything. Like I was like keeping up, but damn, the energy this Gemini pulled out of nowhere it was a lot. I remember by the end of like all that, I was physically exhausted and also mentally because let me tell you, Gemini's can talk and they're so like of the mind and they can talk and talk. And it's not like gossip talk. It's talking about it's just like I don't know, like existence and and sometimes religion and 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 the thing that they learned about like last week and just like they just like to talk. And I like to talk because nobody likes to be boring. And I don't think you could ever actually be bored dating a Gemini. It doesn't sound like a thing that would be it. Yeah, would be it. Also, Geminis are very, and they bore easily, so I think I may have bored her because it just kind of fizzled out. It didn't, it wasn't like she ghosted or anything, it just fizzled out, which is fine, I guess, 
time. 